you see a uniformly enhancing mass in the internal auditory canal. That's an easy case, or is it? Here's our mass, deep in the internal auditory canal, almost tucked up against the fundus there. Here it is on post-contrast imaging in axial and coronal plane. You can see it clearly. This is a vestibular schwannoma, right? Well, hold on a second. Let's review the nerves that are in the internal auditory canal. The cochlea vestibular nerve contributes three branches, two vestibular branches, superior and inferior, and one cochlear branch. The facial nerve is also there. These four nerves occupy the four quadrants of the internal auditory canal as cut in cross section with that anterior and that posterior. Some people like the mnemonic seven up, coke down, to remember that the seventh cranial nerve is on the anterior superior quadrant and the cochlea is in the anterior inferior quadrant. The vestibular nerves are in the back. Now let's look again at this enhancing mass. You can see that it is anterior and inferior in the internal auditory canal. That's where we expect the cochlear nerve. And if you look carefully, you can see some enhancement continuing up into the cochlea. This is not a vestibular schwannoma. This is the less common cousin, the cochlear schwannoma. Why is this important? Well, if you're just going to do stereotactic radiosurgery, it probably doesn't make a difference. But if you were considering surgery in this patient, it would make a huge difference in terms of preservation of any remaining hearing.